G'day, I'm Peter Kishadi. I'm the inventor and owner of the coffee valve. When I go to stores and I explain about the valve, the main thing they ask me is what's so different about our valve? Well, the main differences are that the valve is, it won't break, it won't block, it'll do virtually any pressure and it's full flow. And they're the things that you need from a, a, a trough valve. You don't want them to block and you don't want them to break. And we guarantee ours for life, they will not break. I've never had one break, we sold over 100,000 valves. They're stainless steel. They are really quality products. The product has only got three, three parts. That's the valve. There's one split pin that comes out of our valve and there's three pieces that are left. That's the valve. To change the washer, that's the washer. You turn it over, put it back in. It's a simple nitrile disc. Our valves come in all sizes from 90 mil right through to 50 mil. So from three quarter inch, into a quarter inch and a half, two inch in the old, the old system. They're all got a standard BSP thread. There's a series of arms that we do with our valve. So our valve is customized. So you can customize it to suit any sort of trough. It doesn't matter whether it's a coffin trough, a round trough, a square trough. It doesn't matter. I've seen a hundred different troughs around Australia. We've been able to come up with a configuration that'll work for all those troughs at high pressure and full flow. The way a valve is full flow, when I patented this valve, it's the only valve and remains the only valve on the market that is side discharge and has an exposed seat. And what happens is that that gap that you can see there by the circumference is greater than that inlet area. So whatever comes down the line comes out of our valve. There's no restriction. And if you look at the opposition valves, you'll see that there are, certainly on the high pressure valves, there's a conical reduction down to sometimes as small as eight mil. So you're not getting the flow rate. With our valve, you get a full flow valve. There is no restriction at all on our body. We do a number of different floats from six inch, eight inch, 10 inch, right through to 12 inch floats. As I said, we do all different valve sizes. We do a series of different configurations depending on your trough. If you've got a trough that's a round trough, we recommend a six or 400 mil arm. So these, that's a 600 arm and that's a 400 arm. The reason we like a 600 arm is because it gets the float and the train right out in the middle of the trough. So the stock don't, don't play with that float. They don't have any impact on your valve at all. If you can't get that long arm on because you're running a coffin trough or you've got a cover over it or you've got a restricted area, then you can use a smaller 300 arm. On the plastic troughs, we've actually got a, an arm here with a 100 mil thread. So you can cut that arm back to whatever you need it to be to fit into those small little cavities. And you can put either a six or if you can, an eight inch float. In most instances, you can only fit a six inch float. We also do a bent 300 arm. These arms are bent to so that if you're sitting on the end of a trough and you're coming in and down under a cover, you screw the float directly on the end and it sits in under the cover. But you will need, in that instance, a deflector. And the deflector clamps onto our valve. All of these are a piece of stainless steel that's formed to suit the valve with a hose clamp. That slides on top, so you can put it on with the valve fitted into the trough. Slides down, you put the hose clamp on it, and that's it. And that will stop the water from spraying. Our valve, because it's side discharge, the water does come out a bit like a butterfly wing. So with that clamp on, it stops all that. We also do a bottom entry valve. So if you've got a valve that's coming up from the bottom, like you would if you're coming up in the bottom of a bathtub, you can actually put these arms on, put a chain and a float, and they're for bottom entry. We also do some for cavities, where they're coming in on the side, you've got a recess, a small cavity within the trough, and you can put one of these arms in and screw the float straight on. Ideally, I'd like to have a chain on the float. I think as a design principle, I don't like having a float on the end of the arm. Now our floats, 